The first thing you want to do after purchasing your new set of asterisk knee braces is bring them home. Do not do this step-by-step -step process at the track. Lay everything that's in the box out. You should have a set of undersleeves, an adjustment tool for all the adjustment zones, and some extra padding if needed. Slide the knee brace socks over your leg and make sure they're about halfway in between your calf and your upper thigh. Loosen the straps for the braces and pull them off on the lateral or outside of the brace. If you're using an ultra cell, pull the bow knob straight out and detach the clips from the lateral side of the braces. Place the brace on your leg so that the hinge lines up with your knee joint. A good way to test this is by holding the brace to your leg and bending it back and forth. If it's too high or low, it will be obvious. The lateral retention control cuffs are set to a loose and open position out of the box. These cuffs need to be adjusted to conform and become rigid. To adjust these cuffs, use the Allen wrench tool that's included in the box to tighten all four adjustment screws two upper and two lower. You will see and feel the cuff conforming and becoming more rigid as you dial them in to your liking. If you are using the side cell, you will loosen the adjustment screw where indicated. With your other hand, wrap the cuff around your leg, then tighten the adjustment screw again. The cuff will now be conformed to your leg. Now it's time to fasten the brace. If you are in the cell or cyto, you simply put the straps through the buckles and tighten. We recommend tightening the upper calf strap first. This holds the brace in place best while you tighten the rest of the straps. If you are using the BOA system on the ultra cell, then you will pull each tab to the clip and attach. Push the BOA dial in and turn clockwise until tight. To adjust your extensions limiters, you use the same Allen head tool that's included in your kit. On the side of each hinge, where the adjustment zone is indicated, insert the tool into the hinge. You will feel it engage with the Allen head. Tighten each side to your desired range of motion. There is an indicator window to make sure you have each side even. You have extension control between 0 and 40 degrees. Another adjustment feature happens automatically with each of our cell knee protection systems. The hinge is designed to allow the lower frame to auto-align with the tibia. This is crucial to being able to capture the shin bone and help reduce rotational forces. Nobody's legs line up the same. Our hinge allows our frame to line up perfectly on everybody. Before pulling your pants over your braces, pull any excess undersleeve back over your brace. You will now be setting up to attach the anti-rotation tether onto your boots. Once your pants are on, locate the tether end that's attached to the brace. Once you've done that, mark a line where you'll make an incision for the tether to pull through your pant. Once marked, pull your pants off and place something inside the pant leg that you can cut against. With a method of your choice, cut the pant where you have marked them. Now when your pants are on, the tether end can be pulled through effectively. To attach the boot end of the tether, you'll need your boot, a drill, a 3 drill bit, and vice grips or a vise. Level placement is what you're looking for. To do this, slide your boot on, clip the tether into the brace, and find a good, solid, and level spot where the other end of the tether can attach. Find that spot and mark it. Take your boot off first, then using the 3 16 drill bit, drill a hole in the marked area. Grab the tether again and pull the smash rivet apart. Place the tether strap on the outside of the boot, then place the male end of the rivet through the tether and hole in the boot. From the inside of the boot, snap the female end of the rivet onto the male end. Set the vice grips to a setting and then smash it. Pull the tether tight and close your boot as usual. 
The anti-rotation tether is extremely important in the reduction of rotational forces applied to your knee joint. 